Hello there, my crafty little buggers. I welcome you back to my messy apartment. And I also welcome you to my first ever episode of The Good Player. It's, let's say, a little series that I'm intending to make about, obviously, how to be a good player, no matter which role-playing game you decide to start or you're already playing. Of course, I'm not gonna talk about how to roll your dice and allocate your stats because that's pretty much explained in every single rulebook. Though I am gonna talk about how to build your character. Let's start with the very basics. No matter which race you choose, you always start at the equivalent age of human 16 to 27 tops. 16 for the self-taught classes and 27 for the trained ones. So let's see what would drive your character to go on an adventure. Let's draw a parallel line here between real life and a role-playing game. So I'm gonna talk about my own experience a little bit just to help you guys understand better what I want to tell you. So what drove me to take a level in Bard? When I was a young kid, it was about the same time when I started playing D&D. I was 13 or 14. I started playing D&D a little bit earlier than that. A friend of mine told me, well, why are you so stupid? You already have a good singing voice. You have your dad's guitar at your home. Why don't you just learn how to play guitar? You'll have all the girls in this world. I was stupid enough to believe that that was actually going to happen and I learned how to play the guitar, thinking that girls will fall out of the sky right into my arms. The truth was that while I was actually playing the guitar, everybody else got a girl but me. But oh well, I decided to go on and be a bard anyway and play in a local coffee shop. It gave me a little bit of fame among my friends, but that was pretty much it. I didn't like it all that much because I was insecure and I didn't know how to entertain people, which a bard should do. So my next level of bard would entail that I learn how to entertain. But I was bored of it, so I decided to take on a monk class for a while. Fulfill my childhood wish to be a martial artist. So I decided to go and enroll Tai Chi and Kung Fu courses when I was like 22 or something. And well, I didn't become a monk. I just had a little bit of monk training. After all that training, I sprained my nerve and ended up being in bed for almost three months, I think. I couldn't move properly. And then I started thinking about how movement is important for healing your own body. So I decided to take a level in cleric or a healer, if you will. I enrolled the course in manual therapy, which helped me understand movement, biomechanics, understand my body, understand human body in general, and how I can actually heal people. But after that, I realized that humans don't work like that. They end up in that particular situation because their psyche drives them there. So I decided to go and take on psychology, another few levels of cleric. But in the meanwhile, in order to support my studies in psychology, I had to play more and earn more money, which meant that I simultaneously had to invest in levels of bard. So more levels of bard helped me become a better cleric. And now you're most probably asking yourself, why did I tell you all of this? Speaking from the psychological point of view, every single human being, every character has a drive, a motive. And you need to think of your character's drives and motives because their psychological mechanisms will drive them to become the class that you want them to become. Let's say if you had a level of bard because you wanted to get the girls and realize that girls just don't fall from the sky into your arms, you would really need to invest in your social skills because your social skills will get you the girls actually, mostly diplomacy. Or if you had a drive to help people and heal people, you would become a cleric. The whole point of this story is to think about your character's drives. It will spice up the game, it will give your character some character, and also it will give life to your character. Now that we have this wrapped up, I want you to think about how does your character fit into the world, and how does it fit into the party that you're playing with. Think about contribution. How does your character contribute to the party? What does it bring into the party? Because when you come to think of it, you have friends that you go out with, that you ask for advice, that you go and do stupid stuff with, that you have them for roommates, that you like to cook with, whatever, really. Those are simply different types of friends that we all have that contribute to our lives as well as we contribute to theirs. We have matching or compatible skills or interests or whatever, really. 
So what I'm suggesting here is that you should start thinking about party dynamics and world dynamics. Ask your DM what the party will be like and what kind of world will you be playing in. Because that's how you get to wrap your head around your character and make it a complete personality. I think this is it for the episode 1. I hope you liked my story and I hope that you can relate to it. Think about what classes did you take in your own life and what drove you to do it. And now that we're reaching the end of this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you're new to this channel. There is also links to my Instagram, Facebook and Patreon pages. If you like what I do and want to back me up, I would really appreciate your support. Anything that would help spreading the word about this channel would help a lot, like sharing this video on the social media. And as always, this is Crafty and I bid you farewell. Take care guys.